Hey guys, alrighty. So if you're watching this video, you've already seen our inspiration dice video. I just love these things, FYI. I had, I said in that video I had another idea and I do. Our own deck of cards. So instead of sticks, I really like Kyla Givhand and Karen Friedland's cards. I think they're fabulous. And I like the idea of having an inspiration playing card or dice rather than something just written on a popsicle stick or a tongue depressor. So I got a couple of decks of playing cards at the Dollar Tree when I was getting the dice. And I am going to show you how I did these. Now, I have a free download of these prompts um, these um, art prompts on um, Dropbox and the file for them will be in the description below a link to where you guys can go download it if you're in my Facebook group um, the link will be in uh, in the freebies document and so and the link will take you to two files one that says um, cards and one that says dice um, and they're the same prompts the only difference is the printing is bigger for the card ones than it is for the dice that's all so I'm going to show you how I did these look at all these cards I have now all right so first you need to print your prompts right then I have one of these big Xyron creative stations and I also have the laminating cartridge. It laminates the top and it has adhesive on the back. I have it. I figure I should use it. I don't really, I bought it by accident, by mistake, honestly. So I thought, well, I have it now. So instead of taking it back, I'll just use it. Because I had it for a while and I, before I realized I, it was laminate and not adhesive. Anyway. So I thought I would use that for this, and I, it, but you could do what use what you have. You could use double stick tape. You could glue them down. I'm gonna show you a couple tricks to doing this. If you have one of these creative stations, they do have cartridges for it that are laminate on one side and permanent adhesive on the back. And so if you um, are so inclined to get that cartridge, and that's what I'm using. It is a little bit fiddly and um, I would recommend maybe you might need to print a couple extras of these in case you screw one up because it gets wrinkly. I've printed three. <laughs> um, so anyway, just forewarning. Um, so you just really put it in face up and turn the handle. And if your cartridge is in correctly, it will come out like that. Run the blade across and you cut it off and now it's laminate on the front and it's got adhesive on the back. So once I did this with all my prompts, then I cut them all out into their little squares and I had a stack of them and I was ready to go. And I have one left here and I have a card. So the next thing you need to do is stick it to the card. So you can't just stick it to the playing card no matter what kind of glue you are using and expect it to stick because the playing cards are um, glossy and laminated and no matter what glue you use it's not going to stick. So you need to get a little piece of sandpaper. This is just a medium grit, I don't know, 3, 330, 220? I don't know, it's, we had it out in the garage. So just kind of a medium grit, nothing too coarse but nothing too fine. Get a little piece of it, and in the where you're going to stick your prompt, scratch up the surface. Really good. Yeah. And then take a um, baby wipe and wipe off the dust. And then take a rag or something and dry it. My table's all sticky from I've been working all day. Okay, that side's laminated, so it doesn't matter. All right, so once it's dry, then we can stick this on. So all I need to do is peel off the backing. And stick it on in the middle where I sanded. Use a bone folder or something else like this and just press it down and make sure it's really burnished in and stuck down good. And there you have it. So then you've made your own deck of inspiration cards, which I, like I said, prefer over the sticks. I think they're great. So um, yeah, I'm really happy I did these and that I have the dice. 
And because I have these now, I don't need my sticks. So what that means is I'm gonna be putting these sticks um, into groups of like, I don't know, 10 or 20. There's a lot in here, I don't know exactly. And I'm going to be putting them in sandwich bags and sticking them in my giveaway drawer. And when I send out happy mail and those sort of things, I'll be including some in there. So yeah, those are gonna go out to somebody. All right, that's it for today. That's the last idea I have for something to give you a boost when you need a creative boost, a little tool or toy for your art room. Um, I hope you find it useful and interesting and print the prompts out. Now the prompts are both um, PDF documents that you should be able to edit if there are prompts in there that don't suit your supplies, your stash, or your style of art. Um, so before you print them, look at them and see if you can edit them and uh, yeah, then print it. Um, you know, if you're a male mixed media artist, I know there's a couple in here that like add a flower. You might not like that. So, you know, or maybe you don't have um, watercolor paints. There is a watercolor one in here. Um, so, you know, change them up to suit what you need and what you have and what you do. All right, that's it for today. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe make yourself a deck of cards. All right, that's it, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.